Oi pessoal, Marcelo Copelo. Eu estou na Itália, Toscana, em Montepulciano, com um dos maiores, se não o maior especialista em vinhos italianos. É um prazer estar com você. Daniele Cernilli, do Dr. Wine, muito conhecido também por seu histórico com o Gambero Rosso. Okay. Uh, Faça em inglês, por favor. In English, okay. <laughs> okay. It's better for Brazilian. I'm Italian. I don't okay. speak English very well. I'm Italian too. I, I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. We just tasted 40 years of Montepulciano. Vino Nobile. Vino Nobile de Montepulciano. Yes. Uh, can you try to resume this historical evolution of, of Vino Nobile and Italian wines? But Not uh, easy, as easy first, question. Uh, as a first thing, uh, I, I can say that Uh, the, the last 40 years was a, a real revolution for Italian wines, not only for the Italian wines, but, but also for the Italian wines. Because 40 years ago the wines were, were, were very different. Yes. Uh, the, uh, <coughs> the, the kind of the cepage of the uh, vines uh, were We can say was very everything different. Everything changed. Everything changed. Uh, the, the weather is changed. The weather, the consumer, the <coughs> grapes was colder than now, uh, the weather, and so the, the wines uh, were um, crispy and the acidity was uh, more evident uh, and the body was less impressive than in, uh, in the last vintages, for example. Because, you know, uh, the more the, 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 the weather is hot, the more the wine will be uh, full-bodied and uh, high in alcohol. Yes, hall. we tasted a 79 that mm. was from a very uh, hot vintage and yes. the wine was really powerful, it's still tannic, still with some yes, tannic. still tannic because uh, of the, the ten technique of vinification so, of uh, and this is the, the, uh, the, a very uh, ancient idea of the rustic idea of vinification uh, because they had, uh, had not technique, uh, mm -hmm. the analogy was uh, not very known Uh, at those time, uh, the malolactic fermentation was not very known. Most wineries uh, had no electricity by that time. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, 79 was uh, an ancient wine. It was like a, an old car, you know, <laughs> an old car with I don't know the, the uh, wood uh, <laughs> uh, driver and, uh, and uh, like a Bentley, you know? uh -huh. not a Ferrari or a modern <laughs> or a Tesla, and like a, a, an old Bentley. Mm -hmm. And so, with, with the uh, limit uh, and the, the positive uh, characters of a, an old Bentley, of course, no? sure, you can, you sure, can yes, run yes. a lot with an yes, old Bentley, yes. but it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. no? uh, and uh, this was the 79, and the 85 was uh, more evoluted than the, the 79, and uh, the 88 was fantastic. Uh, great vintage, uh, great 88. Vintage, 88 and uh, 90 was a good wine and 95 was a very crispy and uh, full of acidity because it was a fresh Old vintage. Year, yeah, fresh vintage yes. it, was, uh, it was a fresh vintage with the harvest very late in, uh, in October so for us, uh, for the Sangiovese, it's not normal to have a so late harvest. So in 95 was in this way. <coughs> so the acidity and the tannins are a little edgy. In, 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 in the terms 95. of wine making, what were the main changes? in, in, the, in the In a summary for the simple consumer. Big barrel and uh, big barrel of chestnuts food mm. Mm. In, in the 70s, in part of 80s. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, big oak barrel in the 1890 uh, and barrique or tonneau with the French oak barrel. So the difference uh, due to uh, this kind of uh, maturing system of, of the wines uh, from the chestnuts to the French oak new French oak and this is very different uh, for, for the nose, for, for the character of the wine, for the tannins very and uh, the extractions of the, of the tannins, so it, it's different. Then uh, the maceration, uh, uh, the maceration was uh, less, uh, they, they didn't pay attention, a lot of attention to the, the, the technique Can of I say they were shorter but rougher? Shorter and uh, not Warmer. so. Yes, they, they when the, the bubbling fermentation uh, finished, probably they left the the the, 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 the maceration without any control. Okay. And uh, this sometimes uh, is the, 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 the way to uh, to make rustic wine. 
the other the other idea is the blend of different uh, varietals now <coughs> they use a uh, sangiovese 100 percent for a uh, a lot they use a Sangiovese 100%, mm -hmm. sometimes a little touch of uh, <coughs> Canaiolo or Merlot in Vino Nobile di Montevulciano. In ancient times they um, adopted also white varietals like Malvasia and Trebbiano mm -hmm. for the 15%, not for, for a, a little percentage. So the wines were, were more uh, high in acidity and less in body for this reason. Yes, yes, we can feel tasty. The, the acidity of the wines. Yes. And um, let me just. Okay. Um, in a few words, how would you describe uh, nowadays Vino Nobile for the consumer? Vino Nobile is a classic Tuscan wine uh, with Sangiovese, that is the, the, the main. Uh, main the core. Uh, varietal mm -hmm. of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the group and sometimes is the only uh, the only varietal of, uh, of, of the group and uh, it's a, a classic wine that can uh, has to be uh, um, paired with food I think for so. example you have, you have the, the famous churrasco yes. <laughs> and uh, churrasco and vino nobile could be a great yes. and a great matching and comparing with Brunello, how would you say is Brunello the main difference? Brunello is more difference? Mediterranean. <coughs> Brunello is big. So warmer. Is warmer, is less uh, edgy. Mm. Uh, Vino Nobile, it's like a, a, a noble person, a little posh. Eh? <laughs> a little posh and uh, with the nose uh, in... in the, for, the, for the history, because the, the, the history of the Vino Nobile is much more longer than the history of yes, Brunello. Yes, much more. So, uh, the, the Vino Nobile started in the in Renaissance time. The Vino uh, Brunello di Montalcino is a new wine. Yes, uh, in fact. Uh, a few from, decades uh, only. Yes, uh, in fact, yes. Uh, wonderful Biondi comparison. Made, uh, wonderful Biondi comparison. Uh, yes, and so uh, this is uh, one is uh, a, a, a man that runs the marathon, and the Brunello is a man that runs uh, 1,500 uh, meters. Yes. You know? With m more uh, muscular character, stronger, but stronger, but uh, less resistance. After 42 kilometers, probably can <laughs> win the Vino Nobile. Okay. Okay. And um, Doctor Wine. Doctor Wine is a web magazine mm -hmm. online in Italian and in English, completely mm -hmm. translated, and we are free on the web. So, so all the, uh, the my friends in Brazil, the friends from Brazil, Doctor Wine. Brazil. If you want to know about Italian uh, wines, here's the guy. This is. This is the guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.